Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this integrated arts lesson. My name is Caitlin, and I'm here to share with you how you can integrate art into your math classroom. For this lesson, we will be exploring concepts of geometry to create 3D wearable sculptures. This lesson was developed for a seventh grade class, but can be adapted to the needs of your students. To create this lesson in your classroom, you will need the following supplies. We have aluminum foil, hot glue guns, and hot glue sticks. You will need a variety of colored copy paper, some templates of geometric 2D nets that you can find online, pipe cleaners, straws, and paint and brushes, as well as some scratch paper, pencils, rulers, scissors, and glue sticks. Step one, you will start by encouraging your students to sketch out their wearable sculpture on a piece of scratch paper. Students, go ahead and start sketching. You will want to make sure that your students are using three-dimensional shapes in their sketches, such as cubes, pyramids, or hexagonal prisms. Students should consider how they plan to wear their sculpture. This will determine the size that they will need to make it. Step two, once their sketches are completed, they will use the 2D nets to create their three-dimensional forms. Students will first begin by choosing their 2D net and tracing it on colored copy paper. Students, why don't you go ahead and choose which ones you would like to use. Next, the students will want to cut out their shape out of their paper. Once the students have finished cutting out their 2D nets, they will begin to fold along the lines including the tabs so that it makes it easier to glue. Next, place glue on each of the tabs and adhere to the inside of the opposing face. Students may be able to apply equations for scale factor to scale up or down to the desired size that they would like of their shape. Step three. Next, students will create 3D forms out of straws and pipe cleaners. These forms should be made based on the size and scale of their sculpture. Some may be large, some could be small. First, the student will measure the desired length of their straw for the face of their shape. They will need to cut the straws to that desired length and begin connecting them with pipe cleaners. Okay, students, why don't you go ahead and choose your desired length of straw. Students will need to cut enough straws to create the 3D form. For a cube, this means cutting 12 different straws to their desired length. To attach the straws together, students will fold a pipe cleaner in half and insert it into each end of the straws that they're trying to connect. To fully secure their shape together, students will use hot glue by placing a little bit of hot glue inside each straw and then placing the pipe cleaner inside that. Students will repeat this step for all of the desired shapes and sizes for their completed design. As math integration is our focus, students will want to make detailed notes of the measurements of all of their shapes in order to calculate the surface area at the end. Step four, a combination of the paper forms and the forms made out of straws will now be put together using hot glue. Students should refer back to their sketches in thinking about their design for their wearable sculpture when combining their forms together. Additional pieces may be added in order for the design to be wearable. Encourage the students to think about composition and making their sculpture interesting from every angle. Step five, as an option, students can go ahead and embellish their sculptures by adding either aluminum foil or painting the faces of the shapes. Step six, students should calculate their surface area of their entire sculpture. They will first use rulers to measure each form and then add them up together. So students, let's go ahead and use your rulers and your scratch paper and you can take some notes. For our project, we found that it was fun if students could then model their sculpture for their class. Students, will you show us how you would wear your sculpture? Thank you for viewing our lesson on wearable geometric sculptures. 
Here are some more examples of students' artwork. We hope that these lessons will inspire you to use art in your classroom and increase student engagement and learning. If you would like to download copies of our lesson plan, please visit our website at svmoa.org. You won't want to miss our other videos that integrate art into math, English, science, and social studies classrooms. This project is made possible by a grant from the U.S. Institute of Museum and Library Services with additional support from Alan and Wendy Pesky.